Okay, thank you for joining me. This is a request video for Cliff. He's got himself a Phantom 2 and isn't quite sure how to uh, calibrate the transmitter and the quad, etc. So, so I'll put a quick video together for you. Maybe it might be helpful for other people. This procedure covers the Phantom 2, the Phantom 2 Vision and the Phantom 2 Vision Plus. Uh, bear in mind that my Vision Plus is a 5.8 GHz system. So where you see 5.8, if you're on a Phantom 2, just replace that with 2.4. Anyway, so we need software, three pieces of software. So let's jump on to Google and we'll have a look at what software we need. Simply go to Google and uh, type in Phantom 2 Vision Plus download. It doesn't matter if it's Vision Plus Vision or Phantom 2, they are exactly the same uh, software. First one you want to download is this, the Phantom 2 Vision Assistant 3.8. You also need to download the RC Assistant here. And you also need to download the DJI Win Driver uh, installer package as well. That's the USB driver, because these are classic USB devices. Once you've done that, you need to install the driver first of all. Um, just run the setup for it. You'll get a prompt for Connect MC. Uh, that's Master Controller or the Quad. So plug the Quad into the little socket at the front underneath the Phantom sign. Plug it into your computer and power it on, and the driver will install. If you have issues installing the driver, um, just Google search, there's lots of pages about how to install the driver for it. Once that's done, we're good to go. So let's move on with calibrating the controller itself to start with. This is the remote control we're going to calibrate. As you can see, the wire plugs in the bottom. If you have got the earlier P2 version, the controller is actually on the board. Uh, you need to take the four screws out and plug the wire into there. Uh, hopefully you've got this one or you've got the one that's similar to it anyway. First things then we need to do uh, is plug this into the computer, like so. You get the orange light on it, power it on. Okay, so you got that and you got that. Okay, let's go to the, the PC and we'll split screen so you can see the controller and you can see the screen at the same time. With the controller connected, you can see little lights are lit up there. There's an issue with Windows 10 where you have to force install the driver, but that's uh, something you can Google to find that out. We're going to click on the word calibration, and it'll say release both sticks, then click the next button to continue. Click on next, now we're going to swirl the sticks in a circular motion several times to reach their limits. And as you can see, swirl the sticks. Okay, with the sticks been swirled several times, don't click finish just yet. If you've got one of these upgraded controllers, spin the wheel at the side several times, back and forth, fully all the way, let go of it, and then click on finish. Okay, that is it, that is done. That's how you calibrate the RC, simple and as easy as that. I'm going to move on now to the quad and calibrating the transmitter with the quad. So for this purpose, we're going to use this Phantom 2 Vision that I just happily uh, have on the table here to calibrate with. Dead simple, lift up the flap where you plugged in earlier, plug in your lead. Make sure it goes in the right way when it goes in one way. And of course, like any USB, you can never get it to go in the way you want it to go in the first time. Uh, wide parts to the top, there we go. Okay, put that to one side and plug that into your laptop. And then you're going to power it on. Make sure you take off any gimbal clamps if it's a Phantom 2 Vision. Okay, let's go over to the laptop. As you can see, I've got mode, failsafe, etc. And I've got all these tabs across the top. Uh, quick look through while we're here. View gives you all the information about your quad aircraft type, mounting, etc. Basic tab has your mounting, your RC and your gain settings. Advanced has your failsafe settings, your IOC settings, your battery and your limits, which I'll cover in a little minute. Tools, check your IMU status. Upgrade, lets you upgrade any latest firmware and info basically just tells you who's logged in. We're going to go to basic and we're going to click on RC. We're going to calibrate in here. As you can see, there's a transmitter version, an upgrade or a basic. If you've got the wheel like I've got, it's the upgrade version. Don't worry about these at the bottom, they're not relevant to start with. So let's go back to split screen. Uh, I've got the controller here in front of me. Um, what you're going to do is you're going to click on the word start. There's no prompt this time, you just simply swirl the sticks as it says there like that. Click on finish and you get a box that says release all sticks etc. There's one more calibration and that's for the wheel. Yes, there's a separate calibration for the wheel. You have to click on start and then move the wheel back and forth just a few times like that. And then click on finish. That's how you calibrate uh, your RC to your quad. 
Not something you need to do very often. Uh, I sometimes find if you've had a bit of a, I don't know, maybe a hard landing or a bump or you know, if it's crashed into a tree, it's always best to do an RC calibration. So let's have a quick look in view, your, your basic your mountain locations, things. There's not much really you can do in this one. Basic tab has your mountain. Uh, if you, this is for if you build your own, which you've not done, so you can ignore that. RC, uh, I remember I said to you there's an upgrade in basic version. This here is the control mode switch. Now that's the one that's on the right hand side and as you can see you can set this to ATI, failsafe or manual. Okay, ATI is the same as the middle position. Uh, failsafe is return to home. Manual is for someone who's incredibly brave. Do not put your quad in manual mode unless you know what you are doing because there's no limits, it will travel as fast as it can, it will flip in the air, it will do all sorts of strange things. So please don't put it in manual mode unless you know what you're doing. Just to make sure, put that back on failsafe. Gain, something you don't really need to touch, but just occasionally click on default and set them back to defaults. Uh, the advanced tab, failsafe. You've got a choice, you can either land or you can go home and land. Go home and landing is the preferred option, unless there's any reason why you don't want it to be. IOC is Intelligent Orientation Control. That's the switch that's on the left. Now, it's only available, this, if you're in NASA M mode, and I'll show you that in a second. Uh, top is home lock, bottom is course lock, and top is, uh, sorry, top position is off, middle is course lock, and bottom is home lock. Uh, there's plenty of videos on home lock and course lock, so I won't cover those. Battery information, this tells me that my cells are all within a relative range of each other. Uh, percentage of charge left, percentage of life, and discharging times. Untick low level, uh, low battery level, go home. Please, for the love of God, don't have that um, set because quick story i was flying uh, and the low battery level kicked in while i was coming towards myself and the quad literally powered up and shot towards me at full belt and uh, ended up stuck in a tree so best bet is to untick that uh limits uh max height really should be at 400 feet uh because that's the max in the uk and uh Max radius, um, well, in line of sight, really, so that should really be like, a, I don't know, a thousand feet. We'll put that to a thousand. You can change that if you want to. Uh, flight limits for special area just covers the distance from airports, etc. And go home altitude. I always have that set to 200 feet uh, just to make sure it clears trees and pylons, etc., etc. Uh, tools, as I say, this is for checking the IMU uh, basic calibrations and stuff. You don't really need to calibrate the IMU unless the quad sort of tends to wander around when it's in the air. If it doesn't stay in a fixed place, you might be best run an IMU calibration. Easiest method I've found is a piece of glass uh, on the top with a spirit level and then use pieces of paper to get the quad level. Use a, a you know, decent spirit level or you know, on the cube ones or something like that. Click on advance and then do advanced calibration. Uh, a cover hardware uh, upgrade before, this is just shows the versions of the hardware you've got in there. Um, receiver, power board, battery, etc, etc. The Zen IMU, by the way, is for your camera if you have a Phantom 2 Vision Plus. You won't see that listed for the Vision or the P2. Uh, secondly, the Phantom 2, by the way, I should mention, it says 5.8 of mine because I'm on the um, Phantom 2 Vision Plus. The Phantom 2 is a 2.4 gig system, so that will show 2.4 gig. Uh, NASA mode, uh, I'm just going to click on this uh, in phantom mode. Uh, in phantom mode, the way the lights flash at the back is different uh, in NASA mode. I prefer NASA because I can use the IOC system and so on. Uh, but again, I won't do, I'm not going to explain NASA M. There are lots of videos on YouTube. Go and have a look and uh, look for yourself and watch the videos on it. So Cliff, I hope that was helpful for you, mate. So it's a bit of a long-winded video, but I just need to make sure I covered a few other things uh, while we're on the subject of it. This is me, Fly My Mavic, signing off and as always saying, fly safely.